friends in this video i'm going to talk about ranges in kotlin programming language if i wish to generate a range of numbers from 1 to n then i can use different types of methods for example down to range to or we can also use dot operators let's see the program now i've written a small program in kotlin which has a main function and i've declared a variable called numbers and i'm using one dot dot four for example if i want to generate a set of numbers from one to four I can use one dot dot four and these numbers will be stored in the numbers variable i'm also printing it in the console so now i want to skip few numbers how do i do that i can use step in fix function and the range i want to skip now when i run this program you can see it has skipped two numbers step is a in fix function one more question is is it possible to store a descending range of numbers yes it is possible we can use a down to infix function to generate a descending range of numbers for example here 4 till 1 we can generate using down to infix function so these range of numbers will be stored in this variable and it will also be printed in the console when so i run this program you can see it is displayed in the descending order now the next question is it possible to skip some of the numbers yes it is possible using skip when i run this program you can see it has skipped two numbers next we will see how to store the string and characters using range i would like to store characters from a to z using the range i use dot dot operator that means a to z will be stored in this cats variable and i would like to check whether this cats contain t character i'm getting here two cats contain the character t and in the next part i would like to store the character from a to z so i have to use the single quotes dot dot this range will be stored in the characters so i take each character then i print out on the console you can see here so using range i printed out each character from a to z hope this information is useful thank you